Argentina is slightly ahead uh, over Australia, but Australia is the number uh, six biggest producer of wine in the world, and um, followed by South Africa. I mean, I don't know how many of you knew that South Africa is uh, the number seven biggest producer in the world. And then, as you can see there, making just the top ten, we have little New Zealand. Uh, making uh, most of the wine that we use um, locally is for export. So, you know, for such a small country, that's got a big result. Um, I love this uh, slide. In green, you have the map of Australia overimposed over Europe, <laughs> so that you can have an idea how big Australia is. Russ and I will understand that later because we are in Europe, yes. Have a superimposed over the US? They don't have one. I wonder why. It's just because it's Okay, so you just have here. All right, the reason why I want to spend some time in this map of Australia is because another question that you might have in the exam could be a, a silent map of um, Australia. And they might tell you, um, it would probably more be, but these are all the uh, different regions, political regions in Australia, but so that you know that most of the wine, I would say 95% of the wine produced in Australia comes from uh, Southeast Australia. Okay? So we're talking here. This one that is all around here, you're going to see a closer map, comes from there. So that generic uh, region that we saw in South Africa, that it was called uh, West Cape, uh, you're going to see it in very many bottles of Australian wine that is going to be Southeast Australia. So it's kind of like a catch it all um, region. Um, and then you're going to have a, a small percentage, I would say about 5% of the wine production in Australia coming from Western Australia. Um, we had, did we have a Riesling from uh, Western Australia, the Lina, of course? It, we're, we're always saying that uh, sometimes Australia, because of yellowtail and you know, cheaper uh, wine produced in Southeast Australia, have this reputation of sometimes being a bit uh, lower quality or cheaper. But I think in Western Australia, they are uh, basing their production in a totally different concepts, like making really high quality, a small quantity uh, wine. How many of you have tried a uh, wine from Western Australia? Margaret River. Uh, Adam and I are big fans of uh, Western Australian wines. Um, so imagine, this is a 5% versus 95% uh, of wine produced in Southeast Australia. This is also to give you an idea of the, the you know, the, um, the grape varietals grown in Australia, so that you are ready to answer those possible questions like what we did in South Africa, which ones are the most common white varietals uh, in, um, in Australia. And then if you look at that, you need to know that it's, uh, the first one I would mention, like most, uh, more, like more unique, probably I would say Semillon as uniqueness, in terms of qualities for the uh, Chardonnay. And I think if you look at the charts in your book, I think the next white grape variable is probably going to be uh, Riesling for uh, Australia. And in terms of uh, red varietals, it will be Chardonnay, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, um, Merlot, a bit of Pinot Noir is increasing. Do we have any Pinot Noirs from Tasmania? Um, we you, we carry one from Tasmania, mm -hmm. Frogmore Creek, mm -hmm. but we won't have it back until February. Is that the only one we have? No, right now. Yeah. Okay, so please remember, you know, when we study um, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, the key white grape varietals, the key red grape varietals for each country, very common questions in this exam. And they give it to you in groups and they change the order and they add different varietals that are not from that country. So it gets a bit confusing. That's why I want to reiterate the importance of you know all this. Um, 
your map in the book is much better than what you can see there. Okay? But this is uh, where I want you to concentrate, uh, just in case you get a blind map in the exam and you are told, uh, you, you are given numbers, like one, two, three, four, five. Let me say, the, which number uh, corresponds to Barossa? And then they give you answer, one, two, three, or five. And then you have to circle the correct one. Um, so I just want, I want everybody to have your books open in page 148. So that we can talk about the different uh, wine regions and to locate the key, the key uh, wine uh, growing regions in Australia so that you can uh, locate it in a map. Okay. 